an understanding that the global economy is fragile. Robert Schiller of Yale University, he makes his annual visit to Davos, and he is in search of the good society. Of course, his prolific writing. Wonderful to have you here. I want to get to housing here in a minute. I know you've been thinking a lot about that recently. But on Davos, finally, the financial system is better. A little better, yeah. Um, we still have risks going forward. I guess people look at interest rates, you know. Uh, you look at the spread rate. markets, yeah. the spread market yeah. is better. Can you confidently bring that improved spread market over to an improved real economy, whether in Europe or in the United States? Yeah, you're talking to the wrong man for that. I, I wrote a book, Animal Spirits. Yeah. What, what is it that drives it? George Akerlof and I thought yes. it's mostly psychology or attitudes or stories that drive the economy. This whole European crisis that we're going through was started by a story of Greece. It's a great story. Those, those Greeks, you know, they caused lost the whole confidence, thing. <laughs> But we see a better stock market in the United States. We see the VIX where right. it is, even the housing market providing stability. That speaks to that greater confidence. Can you right. assume a business animal spirit in the next 12 months? Well, the other thing, fundamental principle of economics is mean reversion. Mm -hmm. And you don't stay in depressions for too long. Nor will be anything so. I, or I'm I was going to do Reinhardt and Rogoff, yeah. who claim that when you have a financial crisis, you go through 10 years of a weak economy. And that bothers me. I, you know, that, that's an authoritative study. They've, they studied 800 years of financial right. history. It bothers me. So I, I, I still keep that in my mind. We've, we've been five years in a slow economy. And it, it could go uh, quite a bit longer. James Dimon was here talking 3%, 4% GDP. Do you not agree with Jamie Dimon of J.P. Morgan that we can get back to the old economy we knew? Well, we could. Uh, anything can happen. But we've seen GDP growth at you know subnormal levels and at a lower level. It, it has to be super normal no. to get us back. Okay, super normal housing market. You have been cautious with Carl Case on a housing recovery. Can you become more optimistic when you see the data next Tuesday? Well, we haven't seen the data next uh, the, the S and P. I'm case trying to make some data. news here. Help me out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you're talking to someone whose inclination is to be a his long run historian. I, I think that the housing market has been declining for something like six years now, and uh, that could go on. That's my worry. The, the, the short-term indicators are up now. It definitely looks better. Mm -hmm. But we saw that in 2009. Maybe, now, people will say 2009 was different because it was the home buyer tax credit that dominated. Right, right. But, you know, you <coughs> never know. There could be something else temporarily dominating right Bob, now. Bob, the key question for me right now is economists love to aggregate the housing market together. I see it as a distressed housing economy of foreclosures and separately a good housing market. Can't we get a great year in a good housing market where we don't no. see two or three percent year over year returns, but 12 months from now we're looking at four or five or six percent in that normal housing market? But I mean, it's a good housing market in the sense that mortgage rates are very low and prices have come down to normal levels. So, yeah, it's a good time to buy if nothing bad happens. Mm -hmm. But it's also a very bad housing market in that the, most of the mortgages are being supported by the government. And, and we have the Fed in this buying program. It's a very abnormal market. And I think there's a lot mm -hmm. of uncertainty going forward. And Congress, who knows what they will do. Your iconic phrase, irrational exuberance, quickly here, uh, when we look at the better tone in Davos, are we anywhere near ever getting back to an irrational exuberance? Oh, I think we're pretty far from irrational exuberance, maybe 50 years away. 55 -0. Well, that's news making. Bob Schiller, maybe. thank you. Maybe. Bob Schiller of Yale University. That was a break exclusive 50 years from now. Sarah Eisen will still be doing Bloomberg Surveillance. Oh, wow. Thank you for that break exclusive. Tom Keene, the conversation there with Robert Schiller, who, by the way, is still reluctant to call an all-out housing recovery. We're back here on the